Let s be the set of vectors in R3 whose third component is zero, which means all the vectors in the subset s are in the form v sub one, v sub two, zero, where v sub one and v sub two are any real numbers. We know R3 is a vector space, and therefore s is a subset of R3. Our goal here is to determine if s is also a subspace, which is a subset of a vector space satisfying the subspace axioms shown below. And we're asked to check all the following that are true. Number one, first s is closed under vector addition. To show that s is closed under vector addition, we need to show that if we sum any two vectors in s, the sum will also be in s. So let's let vector u have components u sub one, u sub two, and zero. And let's sum this with vector v, which has components v sub one, v sub two, zero. Notice both of these vectors are in the subset s because the third component is zero. And then when we sum the vectors, the first component is u sub one plus v sub one. The second component is u sub two plus v sub two. The third component is zero plus zero, which is zero. Notice the result is a vector in R3 where the third component is zero, verifying S is closed under addition. Next, we need to check to see if S is closed under scalar multiplication, where the scalar can be any real number. Let's let the scalar be A. Let's check that A times any vector in S, which will have the form u sub one, u sub two, zero, is also in S. Performing the scalar multiplication, the first component is A times u sub one, the second component is A times u sub two, the third component is A times zero, which is zero. The result is a vector in R3 where the third component is zero, verifying S is closed under scalar multiplication. To check to see if S is a subspace of R3, we do need to verify that the zero vector is in the subset S, where the zero vector would be the vector zero, zero, zero. This is in R3, where the third component is zero, verifying the zero vector is in the subset S, which means S is a subspace of R3. I hope you found this helpful.